Hi, I'm Kevin Jennings, the CEO of Lambda Legal, and as you're undoubtedly aware, today is World AIDS Day. I'd like to talk about Lambda Legal's work on AIDS and HIV, but I'd like to do it from a very personal place. I came out in 1982. I was 19 years old and thrilled to be out of the closet. Now, it's important to remember how different the climate was in 1982. In 29 states, it was still a crime for same-sex couples to be in a relationship. And this would remain on the books until the Lambda Legal landmark Lords versus Texas decision before the Supreme Court in 2003. The Stonewall riot had only been barely a decade before, and there were no out LGBT people in federal office in the United States. But that wasn't what was on my mind. What was on my mind was another sophomore named Steve. Steve was blonde haired and blue eyed and worked backstage in the theater productions that I was an actor in, and soon we were dating and I had my first real boyfriend. Well, it only lasted a few months, but you know the special place your first always holds in your heart. About a year before Steve and I started dating, the New York Times came out with an article about a strange new disease that was killing gay men. Eventually, we came to understand this disease as Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome, or AIDS, which in the beginning killed the four H's, Haitians, hemophiliacs, heroin users, and homosexuals. All groups the government seemed to be perfectly happy to let die. So the government did nothing. President Reagan wouldn't even speak the word AIDS for several years into the epidemic. And the results were catastrophic for our nation. Since that article in 1981, over 700,000 Americans have died of AIDS. That's more than the total number of combat deaths in World War I, World War II, Korea, and Vietnam combined. In New York City alone, over 116,000 people have died of AIDS. That's twice as many as the number of Americans who died in the Vietnam War. The overwhelming majority of these people were men who have sex with men. And as a result, my generation of gay men was decimated. Steve would die in 1995. My college roommate, Ernie, would die the same year. My college classmate, Trey, would die the following year. I could keep going, but you get my point. Lambda Legal fought for the rights of people living with HIV from the very start. In fact, in 1983, we won the first federal protections for people living with HIV in the landmark People vs. West 12th Street Tenant Corp case. The HIV epidemic is not over. Despite the advent of treatments which turned it from a death sentence to a chronic disease, Many people still lack access to health care, still lack access to those treatments, and are still dying across America and, in fact, the world. We're going to keep fighting at Lambda Legal until everyone with HIV is able to fully participate in every aspect of American life. We're going to do it for Steve, and we're going to do it for Ernie, we're going to do it for Trey, and we're going to do it for all of those who have been lost, who should be with us today. From all of us at Lambda, thank you for observing World AIDS Day. Never forget.